We're here today to celebrate a, an opportunity and an example how great local companies like Qualcomm and Project Tomorrow can come together to really provide unique learning experiences for San Diego's youth. And we have to make sure that our kids, San Diegans, have the skills to grow into these emerging businesses and phenomenal businesses and communications and technology. And that's what today is all about. And it's incredibly important, particularly for our, our young folks that we have here at, at E3 Civic, to be introduced to the skills that they need to compete for the jobs of tomorrow. This project really fits with the library's mission of inspiring lifelong learning through connections to knowledge and each other and that is what we're about. We really want to have those opportunities for people to learn throughout their life and to be exposed to new technologies and new opportunities and, and here at the San Diego Public Library in the city of San Diego we say that there is nothing that is impossible and I think this is perfect example of that. We are using this augmented reality project to teach STEAM and math concepts like scale, proportion, and geometry in an innovative way that connects students to knowledge. And it's just another example of how the library is providing broader access and teaching San Diegans on its use so they can be competitive in the 21st century economy. The AR application was designed to introduce ninth graders, and we have a representative group of ninth graders here with us today. Uh, from E3 Civic High to learn about STEAM topics but through the context of working with the dome on top of this building. So the dome uh, AR application was set up not only to teach engineering and technological concepts but also to introduce the students to some of the cultural components and the artistic symbolism that was uh, part of the original design and was implemented through the architecture. The hope was that through this contextually relevant experience, not only would we engage students in a different type of learning experience, but it would yield greater benefits beyond just knowledge gained. So I'm very pleased to tell you that as a result of the evaluation, it did in fact achieve those goals. Well, there's three key factors that I think are interesting, not only for this project, but for any projects that we're interested in, in terms of um, nurturing student interest in different careers. The first one was the students had the opportunity to use advanced technologies. They were using 4G tablets, the wireless component, and the augmented reality. The second thing was that the context of the learning experience. It wasn't about abstract terms. It wasn't about reading something in a textbook. They actually got to live the experience outside with the dome over, overhead and to be able to have the augmented reality learning opportunity through their tablets. And then I think the third part, and this came from the students themselves, is they particularly liked the opportunity to work with their peers, with their classmates, to exchange ideas. So what did you think of this? Did you get this answer right on the quiz? Did you watch this video? What do you think this diagram means? Well, I'm pleased to tell you that 42% of the students that went through the experience told us they were more interested in a STEAM career after going through the augmented reality experience than they had previously thought. Now, 42% in an increase from one type of experience is a huge increase. So we know that the experience was definitely very significant for the students.